Mr. Palm this morning. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? I'm well. Good morning to you as well. Did I get the name right? Yes, you did. Yes, I nailed it. First time. <laughs> First time. Well, you, you've been here before? I've been here once before That's in right. August, I think. Well, maybe yeah. September. Maybe. It was around then. Welcome back. Thank you. And uh, we have something cool coming up on Friday. You want to tell us what it is, what, what it's all about? Oh, Come yeah. On. Yeah. Randy Johnson from South Dakota State University, he would be giving a presentation um, on his research. He studied mountain lions in uh, the Badlands of North Dakota. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's going to talk about his research, what he found, and... Uh, he might be able to show some videos to you of, of mountain lion captures as well. Okay, and this is all going on in the Badlands. The research was going okay. on in the Badlands, and he did. Uh, he studied the cats for two years, 2014 and parts of 2016. On the studies at all, do you, do you, can you tell us anything about it? Um, what he studied is sort of uh, what the numbers are mm -hmm. or might be, like an estimate of mountain lions there. And these cats out there, they are in low numbers and they move around a lot between mm -hmm. Wyoming, Montana, South Dakota. So they are long, long distant migrants as well. Oh, sure. So they move around quite a bit and they are unique because our, they're, they're also known as a keystone species because although they are present in low numbers, they have a huge impact on the ecosystem as a whole. Okay. So they re regulate prey and uh, they they regulate in in a way numbers of prey and where they are and their uh, the prey numbers as well not only by um, devouring them or, or preying on them they also regulate where these um, the prey base say l white-tailed deer would mm -hmm. what, which areas they would use uh, if mountain lions are there they would be more cautious about predation and would use areas more conservatively. Okay. So in a way, they also regulate prey base. Of course, yeah. Of course, uh, the, the, the more they eat, or, yeah, you it's know. It's not only numbers. It's right. also the way the, their presence regulates the presence of um, the, these these are, prey base. Okay. Okay, perfect. All right. Yeah, they, they know. Oh, yeah. They, they oh, know. Yeah. Hey, they sneaky mountain lion over there. I'm going over here. <laughs> Study was based out of Badlands yes. in North Dakota, but he found cats moving around wow. between Montana, Wyoming, and South Dakota. And I'm sure they, they travel farther north in the Badlands, too. I mean, yes, they do. So, yeah. Okay, all right. And this is coming up on Friday, you said. This the, the Friday Randy at Johnson. noon hour, um, he'll be talking about for 20, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then um, he'll, he'll, he's open for questions. Okay. Questions. And this is going on where at the college? This is at the conference room upstairs. Okay. Um, so I think it's Holmberg Hall. Okay. And this is free to attend? This is free to attend. Free okay. to the community, whoever is interested to attend the talk is more than welcome to um, to attend and listen and ask, ask questions. I'm sure there's a lot of... Uh Ranchers, I'm sure there's a lot of people up at a Turtle Mountains who would love to hear more about this too. I'm, so. I'm sure they would. Okay. Yes. All right. Anything else you want to add about this, Shapam? I think uh, that's that's about all. Um, and uh, I hope he'll he'll have a good turnout. Mm -hmm. And I would personally try like to invite people from around the community here to come and attend the talk. And uh, and find out what's what's going on. Mm -hmm. All right. That sounds very informative. This guy knows his stuff. He does. He's Definitely been doing does. research for a while, so perfect. All right. Well, we do encourage everybody to go up there on Friday. And what, what was the time again on that? At noon on 21 April, um, that's a Friday. Okay. So noon hour on Friday. Just follow the signs or follow the people, hopefully. Follow the people and the signs, yes. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, Pam. I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. And uh, we'll get you back again, all right? All right. All right, I need five.